these streets, no Tabasco uh-huh. But I'm so stuck, that's a fact, yo And if you think I'm running, you can run it back, yo Go on, run it back You know that I run it Everything you wanna do, I already done it What's good, YouTube? It's Emmanuel here with Emmanuel R&D, and I'm back here again with another video. Um, I just wrapped up actually uh, filming a podcast, actually. Um, you definitely uh, go out, go to my podcast channel. The link will be in the description. Um, go check out the podcast. That's why I'm in the library right now. I film my uh, you know podcast in the library, a nice, quiet area. But I just kind of wanted to touch on, give my thoughts on um, the game versus Eminem, man. And I, I'm so silly, bro. I should have reacted to it. I wanted to react to it with um, one of my friends, actually. But he had to go right after the podcast. I was like, we, you, should, we keep, are you trying to react to it? Nah, I got to listen to my own because it was right. It was already coming or whatever. So it's cool. But, like, the Black Slim Shaggy, man, kind of whipped my thoughts on it. Because when I first watched, obviously, my favorite reactor is No Life Shack. Like, or anybody else. Like, who doesn't like No Life Shack? So when I watched his reaction and then when I watched the Law Twins reaction, I had two different, like, perspectives. Because, like... I felt like No Life Shaq, he was catching bars, but he was just so, like, not on the, on, on the, 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 he didn't like the way that game was still in Eminem's flows and stuff like that, so I think he got overlooked, because that, that, once I kept listening to it, the Black Slim Shaq, that wasn't, I'm not, I'm not going to sit here and say it was the worst diss track against Eminem, I'm not going to sit here and say it was the best diss track against Eminem, but what I will say is, man, he has some, he has some, it's interesting though. It's, it's funny, like, cause you know, like I said, you look at all the people that went at Eminem, Benzino, Ja Rule, MGK. It was all for something. With the game, it was like, what you coming to Eminem for? But cause he didn't do nothing too. He, you know, you didn't. It's nothing happened. There's no beef. It's no like, what started this? It? Nothing. You know, what I mean, I think he just he not gonna admit it, but he just going at Eminem because he's the best selling rapper of all time. He he knows that if you send shots towards Eminem and he responds it gets you bigger so that's what he's doing he's just trying to get publicity um and that's just what he's trying to do man I don't know uh, but I, I I want Eminem to respond honestly I know that's gonna make the game bigger but I feel like Eminem the game is already just he's, he's big in the game anyway so it's like even if it makes him bigger it's like he done what he done in hip hop um the game is he liked that for sure he has some nice lines in there man I remember that one line he said um I'm trying to figure out what he said. He was like, uh, not the inner scope bar because everybody said that, but he was like, um, you are not top five or something. Like, what'd he say, man? I'm trying to figure out what he said. Man, I, I'm gonna just go ahead and go to the song real quick, real quick. I want to see um, the audio. My voice might get a little lower. Just letting y'all know it's cool. But yeah, I got to go to that song real quick, man, because that is really, <laughs> that was something else, man. With the game, I just wanted to point out. I already, like I said, I already listened to the full reaction or whatever. But I just wanted to point out a line that I kind of liked in that song, even though I didn't agree with it. It's just like it's just like a, a scathing bar. Um, but back to what I was saying, actually, even before I get into the song again, uh, that part of that I like. Um, when I listened to No Life Shack reaction, it was like he was like almost, I wouldn't say biased, but he was just so like already going into the reaction. He was almost like, I don't know what. Like, this is trash, like, you know what I mean, whatever. Because then when I watched Law Twins' reaction, and I watched Lost in Vegas' reaction, I watched different reactions, and, like, he had bars in there. It was cringy, like, all that, like, ring, ring, like, all that different voices and stuff. They don't fit game. I didn't think he needed that. And on top of that, to make a 10-minute diss track, you better be one of the top-tier lyricists ever, which the game is not. He's a nice rapper, but he not up there with the elite uh, lyricists. So I think he just, if he would have came with maybe even a 5-minute diss track, that's pushing him, but that would have been better than 10 minutes game. For sure, but I, I do think it's worthy of a response just from it's hip hop. You know, it, it's not no real beef here. Get the game just simply thinks he's better, and Eminem, you know, if he wants to respond, it's, it's obviously going to help come with a consequence. It's going to make the game bigger, but you know, you can prove once and all that nobody can, which I think nobody in the world can mess with Eminem battle wise. That's what he does. I don't think he's a rapper alive that can out rap Eminem. His pen is in, impeccable. Uh, but let's go to the line that I like. In, the Black Slim Shady, man. Okay. 
Okay, when he started going on that 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 the Royce the five nine, I'm in the I'm in the car with the Royce Royce with five nines, and you trying to be the white Royce the five nine, like that was that is we're gonna get Eminem to respond just like that. Not a lot of people can do that with the doubles and just like the rhyme schemes and that. It was that was nice right there. He didn't have a like, you know, this whole ten minute track wasn't filled with with just punchline after punchline. It was like a, probably like the first verse was just him rapping. It was nothing to even reference towards Eminem. That's why, cause when I, I the reason why I didn't react to it because like I kind of thought it was gonna be trash, but I should have just reacted to it anyway because I was man I would got a heck of views more views than this is, but you know it's I don't know. Majesty, the Angelo baby got in shape to whip your ass again. You depressed, you just masking it. You pop an Adderall, a Vicodin, and an aspirin, but the math wasn't happening. It's so fast, me to torture. Right now. Torture in my mind with the voice that defy rhymes will force the blind eye to see that I was in the white Rolls Royce with five nines when you was pretending to be the white Royce the five nine. I just. That was crazy. When you was. When I was in the car white right, voice with five nines when you were trying to be the white Royce the five nine. That was crazy, game. That's what's gonna get Eminem. And even towards the end of the diss track, he started I think with the track obviously was I don't know if we're gonna say sit here and say if it was better than MGK or not. Cause it's kinda hard to compare him because game went a whole he went in a whole different direction towards Eminem. That's why I still gotta give him props and and stuff like that. Um towards his diss track because he, you can tell he put more effort into it than MGK. MGK just like, he probably already had Rap Devil ready. He shot the video. He already, he said he shot the video like what, a day, two days? It was, he just released it. The game, he went in a whole different direction where like, I'm gonna steal every single one of your flows. One, every single one of your most popular flows. I'm gonna steal your cadences and I'm, but I'm gonna make it my own. That's, that's the lane that he approached. Yeah, that's the lane that he approached, stuff like that. But, um, man, it, it was, man, it, it was, it was, it was something else, man. But towards the end, I had like the little Debbie, the cakes, and then the stuff like that. He got on towards the end of the song. But I, I want to point out that other line too, where he said about Sean Don, Big Sean being the best. Cross the fine line. Why? I never heard you in a club. I the fine line. Mike forced the white guy to call D12 so he can be the pork that grinds wine. Right now, and he said the best rapper in Detroit is. Um, Big, like, Sean Don, which is Big Sean, which we know it's not Big Sean. Hey, y'all, I gotta wrap this video up. They finna kick me out, because you only get, a, like, a limit of how you can, like, rent a study room in here. Like, so they just knocked on the door right now, so I gotta wrap this up. But I just wanted to point out this other line that I was talking about. And the biggest rap in Detroit, that award is Sean Don. So uncork the Chardonnay and stick my fork in white wine. <sighs> like, that's what I was saying. Like, the best rapper alive is Sean Don. So what do you say about the cork? Cross the fine line, Mike just forced the white guy to call D12 so he can be the pork that grinds wine. And the biggest rap in Detroit, that award is Sean Don. So uncork the Chardonnay and stick my fork in white wine. So uncork the Chardonnay and stick my fork in white wine. Like that, that is crazy, gang. Like he has some doubles in his in his song, man, for sure. But I gotta wrap it up because they finna kick me out. But yeah, my, that, my bottom line is like Eminem is gonna respond. I think so. I feel like it's good for hip hop. I don't care if it makes the game bigger. I want him to slaughter the game. I, I appreciate stuff like this. People actually going at and the, the fact that he labeled it the Black Slim Shady is crazy. Like basically, you calling him the black version of him. <laughs> yeah, well, hey man, for sure. Y'all comment down below, man. What y'all thoughts on the reaction? Because like when I first saw No Life Shaq's reaction, I kind of like judged it based off his reaction. I need to stop doing that, and I need to judge it based off what it is, not just because he's the top reactor and that's what he thinks. Because I felt like even if No Life Shack, he watches somebody, somebody else's reaction, he'll kind of realize, yeah, man, I was kind of like tweaking a little bit. He, he did have some doubles in here for sure. It was, don't get me wrong, the song, the, the skits was cringy and it was like, you know, corny, stuff like that, but he did his thing. But other than that, y'all, obviously I have a podcast coming out tomorrow, obviously the add-on podcast, the link will be in the description. Like, comment, share, subscribe, all that, and I'll see you guys next video.